force. Can I prophesy? How do I know you? Yes. This is your mother. Yes. So Stuart was your father. Ah, yes, man. Huh? Yes, father. Yes, man of God. Stuart was your father. He was my father. And she's dreaming of Stuart every night. Every night. Stuart is coming to her dream every night. Every night, man. And of they God. are. They are working together, together they are cleaning the house together, everything. preparing the house together, oh kissing, holding yes. hands, making love. Yes, she, three days ago, she even cooked the sadza yes. with shoe for him. Yes, yes, she did. She told Look me. Look at that. She told me. Look at the way she's shocked. She told me. Look at that. I did. I cooked. Look at the way she's shocked. This has been going on for years, for many, many years, men of God. It's something when somebody comes and says something you, that is physical. But when somebody comes and tells you something spiritual, like a dream you're having. Yes. And to tell you, three days ago, she cooked sadza yes. for him. White sadza with the beef stew. Uh. And he was wearing a white shirt in the dream. And she cooked it over a two-plate stove in the dream. Wearing the same blue shirt. The same blue shirt he wears every time in my dream. And he comes. And whenever he comes, and can I tell you, wait, can I tell you what he says every time, every time he comes in your dreams? He will look at you with loving eyes. Yes. And you say, my yes. beautiful Betty. Yes. Yes. Then he will stretch his hand and say, I have come to take you. And he says, I love you. Eh? <laughs> now, for 15 years, yes. you have been yes. dreaming of your dead husband yes. coming to you in a dream. And she always tells me, man, And God. every time you dream of him, your health is deteriorating, deteriorating, deteriorating. Each night you spend with him, yes. you wake up more worse than you were the previous yes. day. Yes. Everything yes. around you is dying. Yes. The spirit of death yes. is now following you. Yes. From the day your husband, yes. Mr. Albert, yes. Stuart Albert, the yes. day he died, yes. that was the day a spirit took the form and shape of your husband. I saw a spirit called a jinn. A jinn. Say jinn. Jinn. Jin. Jin. The demon, the person you are seeing is not your husband, but is a demon called jinn. Jinn is taking the shape of your husband and coming to you every night. Your husband is already gone. He has already crossed over. But what you are cooking for every night is a demon called jinn. What you are making love to every night is a demon called jinn. What you are kissing every night is a demon called jinn. What you are hugging and what you are cleaning the house with every night is a demon called jinn. Jinn is on the third dimension underworld near hell near the entrance of hell that is where he stays and every night and i feel him i feel him like he's right there <laughs> please destroy it papa it's been many years it's been many many years i need your help man of you God. see there are many people right now you are there is there are people hearing this word and people who are watching this right now what is happening to this woman is happening to some of you. There are people who are in your life that departed. But each and every night, you are having dreams of them coming to you. And telling you com comforting words. And saying, I miss you. I love you. I'm going to be with you. You need to understand. The Bible says you need to understand and to descend the spirits. Who is it that is appearing in my dream? I'm looking in the realms of the spirit. I said, show me the mystery of this thing, oh Lord. And I'm being told, no, 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 son. Stuart is already gone. Matter of fact, Stuart is with the Lord. Are you hearing me? Help me, man of God, help me. <laughs> I don't want these dreams anymore. Please help me. Because right now, you're... You, Look at you, you are, as I'm you are even tired. You don't even know where your strength goes. Yeah, yeah. 
and I'm always broken. I, I don't know. I don't know. I have three sons that are working in the United Kingdom, and and it looks, looks like they can't even get the right jobs, even to take care of me. You know, they went to they went for degrees. They've got masters, but they are not getting the right jobs. Because yeah. gin is in your house. Yeah. Help me, Lord. Can Jesus help you? Will you allow my Lord Jesus yeah. Christ to come and help you? Yes. Come. Yes. Give me your hand. Jin, you have been found. Leave this woman now. You will not visit her anymore. In the name of Jesus. Hey! Hey! Out! In Jesus' name, she's free. Somebody give God praise. Jesus Generation International Ministries. Richer city, change a nation, touch the world.